hope is gone, I cannot sleep, I find. Lord, this is open service in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's stand and go to Lord in prayer tonight and ask for his blessings in the service. Has anybody got a request? A prayer. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Praise the Lord. Let's go, Lord, and pray at this time. Father, we appreciate you, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity we have again to assemble ourselves to worship the name of Jesus Christ. God, to give you the praise that you rightly deserve, Lord. We believe, Lord, that you died and resurrected and you're in heaven. Lord, we believe that you'll return to this earth one of these days, Lord. God, we just appreciate you for our salvation, for the baptism of the Holy Ghost that you've given to us, Lord. God, for the promise of eternal life, for the millennial reign that we have been promised with you. God, we appreciate you, Lord, and we come to you tonight, Lord, in prayer, asking you, Lord, to move upon the request that we brought. God, that you move upon Doris, the one that has the cancer, Lord. God, she has the Holy Ghost, but you're able to heal her body, God. You're able to speak to her, heal her, Lord. And God, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll move upon Robert there, Lord, and Ripley, God, that you'll move upon him, his life, to change his life, God. We believe that you'll do this. We believe that you're working on this, Lord, and we just appreciate you for it, God. And we pray, God, for our families and our lost loved ones, Lord, that they will see the need in this hour before it does get real severe. God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you bless us as we've gathered here to worship the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The title of the song is When We All Get to Heaven. Praise God. I know we've got a millennial reign coming up, and I know we're going to be here through the tribulation, but I believe one of these days, somewhere throughout the eons of time, we will get to view everything God has in heaven above and everywhere else, if there's an existence anywhere else. We'll get to view everything that God has created. Praise God. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, He'll prepare us a place. When we all get to Number 75, where the soul never dies. Praise God. Sometimes you start on the wrong chord, it's hard to change in the middle of a song. Praise God. Where the soul never dies. To Canaan's land I'm on my way Where the soul of man never dies My darkest night will
Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. For the soul never dies. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Number 73, joy unspeakable. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I have found His grace is all complete. He supplieth every need. While I sit and learn at Jesus' feet, I am free, is free indeed. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. and full of glory. Oh, the man has never yet been told. I have found the pleasure I once prayed. It is joy and peace within. What a wondrous blessing I am saved from the awful cup of sin. It is Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Got to try different songs every now and then. Can't get stuck on the same ones whether we sing them or not. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's an old song we sing a lot. Praise God. Everybody knows this by heart. Praise the Lord. I'll fly away. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning. Hallelujah, by and by, I'll 
like a bird from Britain bars that's flown. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. I'll fly away. Praise the Lord. Someday, praise God, we're going to meet Jesus in the air and our feet's going to leave this planet. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's about as far as the word says, too. Isn't it? <laughs> praise God. We'll meet him in the air. Praise God, but he's got some plans, hasn't he? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mom, you got a song ready? Praise God. <clears throat> you want me to sing one with you here so while I'm standing up? <clears throat> I run out of breath quicker than I used to. I've gained weight more than I used to. We are. We're going to sing one in a minute. We'll try it anyway. Near to thee. Many times I'm in the valley so low. I just know there's a lily that grows, oh Lord. This makes me feel so near to thee. When I look and see that mountain so high, and the tears begin to fill my eyes, oh Lord, this makes me feel so near to thee. so fair and that great meeting we'll have up there oh Lord this makes me feel so near to to make you feel so near to Him. When you look and see the mountain so high and the tears will be 
begin to feel your eyes, oh Lord, this will make you feel so dear to him. Praise God. Becky, you got a song? Well, you got the kids sitting there. Sister Matthew, Please go ahead. If you want to. Yeah, since she's already awake now. Okay. Bring her on up here too. She wants to sing. You want to sing with Daddy? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to try this one here. We would have had y'all singing first, but I was already standing up in the way, so... <laughs> Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This song went sung in a while. Sometimes when we first start on somebody's song, we're just guessing on how they're sung. <laughs> Even though we've sung a lot of times, it's just sometimes I think they need to catch up with. The Great Speckled Bird. What a beautiful thought I am thinking Concerning the Great Speckled Bird
Turning the Bibles to 1 Samuel chapter 1. Hallelujah. We'll try this song here in some a while. Praise God. Peace in my soul. Peace in my 
Give me peace in my soul, praise God. A lot of people ain't got that in the world. Praise the Lord. That stuff right there, if money can't buy you, it's peace in your soul. Praise the Lord. Only God can give that, and that's through the plan of salvation. Praise God. When you get that completed, praise the Lord. There's perfect peace if the man's mind stays up on the Lord, and he can walk in what God wants him to walk in. Praise the Lord. We're going to read some places right here. Uh, a couple of places or so, maybe. And um, the thought would be the prayer that gets answered. Praise God. The prayer that gets answered. Praise the Lord. The prayer that gets answered. Hallelujah. Praise God. First Samuel chapter 1 and verse 9. So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat up on a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thy handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have, a, I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thy handmaid for a daughter of Belial. That's what they talk about them that drink a lot. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief 
have I spoken hitherto? Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we appreciate you for the reading of this scripture. We ask your blessing tonight in this word. We ask you, God, to feed us the manna from heaven. And Lord, it only can be done if you grant the anointing of the Holy Ghost and give the words to be spoken, Lord. God, we submit ourselves to you tonight. Lord, we pray, God, that you will bless us, God, with a word from heaven tonight. That we may be strengthened, our soul may be strengthened, we may have what we need. God, we ask it in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. The prayer that gets answered. Praise God. If you notice what we read here about Hannah, Hannah, of course, was, the, uh, was uh, Samuel's mother. And Eli was the high priest. And Hannah was right there at the temple of the Lord. And she, the, the Bible said the other women mocked her, laughed at her from time to time. You know, every time she would go up and her husband had another wife. In those days, you know how polygamy was permitted under the law at that time. And this other woman had children, but Hannah had no child at all. And the Bible said God had shut her womb. And a lot of times we don't realize it, and there's some point in this right here, that when something bad happens, it's like the scripture says in the New Testament over there, that all things happen for good to them that love the Lord. A lot of times when we feel like there's something bad going our way, it seems like it's not going right. If we can realize with a little mentality of thinking there about what's going on, God might be allowing this for our benefit, not to our hurt. And no doubt, this woman, Hannah, what would have been her life if she had been used to having children like this other woman and this other woman couldn't have mocked her and put her down and made her feel down? Well, in this respect here, this woman, Hannah, then began to have a sorrowful spirit. She began to have a sorrowful and a, con a contrite spirit and it made her get on her knees before the Lord and to call upon God. Praise the Lord. So here she was at the temple of the Lord she had not been drinking strong drinks, she said. She had not been drinking wine. And she began to get down on her knees there, and she was just there just to pray. And, and she said she was in a grief. She was in sorrowful of her spirit, and she was pouring out her soul unto God in prayer. It didn't matter about really the verbal words that come out of your mouth. It's how your heart is set. And her heart was broken, and she was weeping before the Lord, the Scripture says, and she was crying tears before God. And God was watching this situation and she was crying before the Lord because she wanted a child. And praise God, and the high priest noticed her and thought she was drunk and said something to her about that. And she said to him that she had not been drinking. And she said, but I have poured out my soul unto the Lord. And Eli the high priest spoke the word of God and said, well, daughter, be of good faith. He said, your request, in one sense of the word, your request has been heard before the Lord God. Go your way in peace. And the Bible said she was no more sad. The Bible said she was no more down in the dumps, praise God. She went her way, and in the course of time, she had a man-child. She didn't get down about it. She believed what the high priest had told her there. Praise God. Well, praise God, we've got a high priest in heaven, praise God, and he knows what we're praying about from time to time. Praise the Lord. But to get the prayer that gets the answer, it's praise God, it's when we have a broken and a contrite spirit and begin to pray before the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Let's read these scriptures here before we go any further. In John 15 and 1 through 7 and also James 4. Jesus said, I am the true vine. My father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Jesus said, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Praise God. 
James chapter 4, real quickly, let's read this portion here. James 4 and 3. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture said in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisteth the proud and giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be afflicted, be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're talking about a prayer, praise God, that will get answered when we go to the Lord in prayer. Praise God. There's a lot of people, there's, I've heard preachers talk about at a time that Praise God that we shouldn't be sorrowful of heart and so forth. But we just read what James supposedly was Jesus' half-brother, I believe it was. He said that the, the way to draw nigh to God and God draw nigh to you is when we humble ourselves down that God resists a proud and he hates a proud look. Praise God. When we come to the Lord Jesus Christ and we come to Him with a sincere and a contrite and a broken heart and we get on our knees and begin to call upon the name of the Lord, then friends, we've got access unto the God of Israel and praise God, just as Hannah was when she wanted that child. Oh, it was something, praise God, in those days, a very reproachful thing, a shame, praise God, when the, those days women couldn't bear children, praise God, and they was mocked and they was looked down on, praise God, and ridiculed and scorned and laughed at, praise God. Uh, well, I had a praise God, when she began to call upon the Lord uh, and broke her spirit down before the Lord uh, and put out the haughtiness out of her life uh, and humbled herself down before the God of Israel, praise God. Uh, the Bible said that God heard her prayer uh, and began to move in her situation, praise God, uh, and gave her a child, praise the Lord, as she had requested. Uh, and praise God, in our day, Jesus has done said, uh, if you abide in me uh, and my word words abide in you. Uh, he said you can ask what you will uh, and it will be done unto you. Uh, praise God if we will abide in him. John said in one place uh, that we have our confidence in God uh, when we keep his commandments uh, and when he keep his commandments, praise God uh, we abide in him uh, and he abides in us by the spirit of God uh, and by that praise God that we can come to God in prayer uh, and praise God and humble ourselves as, uh, as James said uh, and praise God humble ourselves ourselves before the Lord uh, and put away the double-minded in our attitudes of life uh, and come out from among the world. He said, praise God, uh, whosoever will be a friend of the world uh, is the enemy, enemy of God. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, and John said in another place, love not the world uh, and neither the things that are in the world. Uh, if any man loves the world, he said the love of the Father is not in him. Uh, hallelujah for all that's in the world. Uh, the lust of life, the pride of life. Uh, and praise God. God, all of these things. He said, they're not of God. Uh, he says, they're not of God. They're of the world. Uh, and praise God, but if we will put aside uh, every weight of sin that so easily besets us, uh, and we can boldly come to the throne of grace uh, and find the help in time of need uh, and abiding in the vine called Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, I'm the vine uh, and you're the branches. Uh, and praise God, if we will bear the fruits of Jesus Christ uh, and begin to put on the attributes of the Son of God in our lives, uh, in our attitudes, uh, in our conversations, uh, and praise God and begin to be coming to that place with God uh, uh, where we are united with the Lord. Uh, hallelujah, God and friends, there's not a reason under the sun uh, of why we can't get on our knees somewhere. Uh, what God, regardless of a problem, uh, regardless of cancer, uh, regardless, praise God, of any kind of sickness, uh, any kind of problem, praise the Lord. Uh, it's when we come to the God of Israel with a clean heart uh, and a pure heart 
heart. Uh, and praise God, we place the petitions before the Lord. Uh, and praise God, He extends the scepter and we touch it by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah, God, that we have a promise uh, and an access to God that we didn't have under the old covenant. Uh, hallelujah, God, that the Bible said that all will know Him. Uh, and from the least of them uh, unto the greatest of them, God said, all shall know Him. Uh, and praise God, will we regardless of our standing in life, uh, hallelujah, God, that we can approach to God. Uh, if we have a humble attitude before God, uh, hallelujah, God, that anything we need, uh, we can call upon the Lord uh, and we can receive of God. Uh, he said, if you will abide in me uh, and in my words can abide in you, uh, he said, you can come before me and ask what you will. Uh, and he said, I will fulfill the desires of your heart. Uh, Jesus said one time to those, uh, praise God, hallelujah, that desire some things of the Gentile ways. Uh, he said, praise God, first seek ye the kingdom of God uh, and his righteousness. Uh, and he said, all of these things the Gentiles are seeking after uh, in their lives first. Uh, he said, I'll grant it to you as a gift. Uh, I'll grant a food for you. Uh, I'll grant raiment to you. Uh, I'll grant clothing to you. Uh, I'll give you a shelter. Uh, I'll provide for you in the natural. Uh, but don't be as the Gentiles of the world uh, that all you want is seeking the things of this life. Uh, he said, the abundance of things of our blessings. Uh, praise God. They don't consist of the things of this life. Uh, if we are seek the Lord, he said, uh, he said, if we will seek the Lord, uh, he said, if we will seek the Lord, uh, hallelujah, God, that God is waiting. Uh, oh, yes, he is. He is waiting to hear uh, the cry of his people to come up before him. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Israel in the days of old uh, when they was in Egyptian bondage uh, and they didn't know which way to turn uh, and they were slaves to the world. Uh, oh, praise God. Uh, they had a need from God. Uh, as long as everything was okay, uh, God didn't move for them. Uh, but when uh, things begin to get tight, uh, when things begin to get troublesome, uh, oh, praise God. God said, I have heard uh, the cry of my people. Uh, I have heard uh, the cry of my people. Uh, I see them in their tents every day, uh, a weeping and a mourning uh, and a crying. Uh, and God said to Moses uh, that the cry of my people has come up before me, uh, then I'm not going to wait no longer. Uh, I'm not going to put it off no longer. Uh, I'm going to send you, Moses, to deliver my people uh, out of Egyptian bondage. Uh, out of my high, uh, praise God. Uh, and Lord, if we will come to that place... Uh, and seeking the Lord out. Hallelujah, God, that we can come to that same place in a time of need. And when God sees His people are not getting enticed with the things of this world like the many of the churches of this generation are doing. I'm talking about Jesus' name churches. Women are so concerned of how they fix their hair. They're so concerned of what kind of clothes they're wearing when they go to church to be seen. Praise God, many are doing this in this generation and me in the same way. But God is looking for something similar to the old-fashioned revival days when people went to church and not caring what people thought about them in that respect. But they were concerned for one thing, and that was to serve God, and that was to pray unto the Lord, and that was to worship God. And they weren't caring about what they looked like. Praise God. God is looking for that people. Praise God to come and to worship Him as they did in those days when miracles were performed in greater measure, when things were done, when revival Bibles broke out uh, and when people received the Holy Ghost uh, they had a concern for God uh, praise God but it's a great falling away uh, just before the coming of the man of sin uh, it's that great falling away and who shall be able to stand uh, oh praise God but God said there's somebody going to stand uh, there's somebody going to be concerned uh, there's somebody going to get on their knees uh, there's somebody going to live that word uh, there's somebody praise God going to be led of the Holy Ghost uh, and they're going to seek God out as he said uh, they're going to bow in him. He's going to abide in them. Hallelujah to God. And when they speak a word and they ask of God, God will not hold any good thing from his people. And he'll give us the desires of our hearts. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hannah got to that place in her life. He didn't say how long she had put up with all that that was going on. Hallelujah. All I know is it said that that other woman had some children. 
That meant, praise God, if she had two children anyway, that meant, praise God, at least a year and a half to two years uh, she put up with that. Uh, praise God, this other woman had children. She didn't have none. Uh, I believe the mockery started. Uh, and praise God, she kept. She might have got mad a few times about it. Uh, but getting mad don't do the job. Uh, getting mad don't get a prayer answered. Uh, getting upset, doing the wrong thing, don't get a prayer answered. Uh, getting discouraged of this life, don't get a prayer answered. Uh, getting mad, praise God, if somebody that's done you wrong, don't get the prayer answered. Uh, hallelujah to God. It's when she decided uh, they by one way I'm going to get this accomplished. Uh, and that's when I go to the temple of God. Uh, and that's when I get on my knees before the Lord. Uh, and I begin to cry and weep before God. Uh, it's the same way in our generation. Uh, getting mad at the world is not the answer. Praise God. Uh, but what we need from God uh, is getting to the place in our life uh, that besides getting upset at everybody, uh, we get to a place, God, I've got to have your answer. Hallelujah. Then praise God and the Lord said He is waiting right there in the heavens. He's waiting, praise God, hallelujah, and waiting for them prayers to mount up before him. Praise God that he can begin to move and speak to his angels. I believe the Lord. You've heard of people who used to, old cowboy days, they have an easy trigger finger. I believe God is easy, praise God, uh, wanting to speak to his angels. Uh, oh, but he won't go beyond his word. Uh, he's waiting for his people to get humble. Uh, he sees some of his sons and daughters with cancer. Uh, he sees some of his sons and daughters that have the Holy Ghost, praise God, uh, with all kinds of ailments and sicknesses. Uh, and the desire of God's heart is to heal that person. Uh, but God is waiting for that person to come to the place Hannah did uh, and, decide, and decide, well, I've got to have something from God this time uh, and get into a place so they can absolutely break down their spirit, uh, break down an old barrier uh, and pray through unto the Lord. Uh, and I believe Jesus is just so itchy, praise God, he wants to speak to that angel. Uh, he wants to speak to that angel uh, and say, go down there to so-and-so uh, and do something for them. Uh, oh, praise God. Uh, oh, Cornelius, praise God all the time. Uh, he'd been doing those good deeds. God saw it, uh, but it wasn't time. Uh, and praise God. Uh, hallelujah to God. He was been praying for salvation because the scripture said he answered his prayer. Uh, but all that time he'd been praying. Uh, and nothing was accomplished. Uh, and praise God, and finally Cornelius got so beside himself, uh, he said, I'm tired. Uh, I'm not getting the answer I want from God. Uh, I'm tired, praise God. I believe the word. Uh, and so he was. He went on a fast. Uh, he pushed the plate aside. Uh, and he got into that room. He began to call upon the Lord God of Israel. Uh, he said, God, I've got to have this answer to my prayer. Uh, oh, praise God. And just as soon as he got humble before the Lord, uh, in that respect, praise God, uh, the Lord God, God of Israel spoke to an angel and said, you go down there and you tell him, uh, you tell him his words, uh, his prayers, uh, his almsgivings, uh, all of these things, they haven't been going unnoticed. Uh, you tell him it's time. I've decided to stand up uh, and move for this man. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's decided it was time to move. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Yes, Jesus is sitting in the heavens. He's a high priest. He's on that throne up yonder. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going on a journey. That's what he said in Luke 19 chapter. He said, I'm going on a long journey. He said, but I'm, so many days I'm going to return. Praise God. But Jesus is on that long journey right now. He's been in the heavens, praise God. We that have the Holy Ghost can talk to Him. It's a lot better, as I said this morning, than using a telephone. Oh, praise God, we can communicate with Him through the Holy Ghost. Praise God, He can show us visions. He can send angelic visitations in a time of trouble. If we we'll walk in His Word, we've got the promise of a deliverance. We've got a God that's real. We're not serving the Muslim religion of a Buddha God, or some sort of God that can't hear we're talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that sent His only begotten Son into the world. Uh, praise God that suffered on the cross of Calvary uh, and that shed His blood, uh, that died, uh, and that resurrected and sent it back to heaven. Uh, we're talking about a God that can hear and know and see everything that we do, uh, that we, we have a need. Uh, we can go before Him if we walked in His righteousness of His Word uh, and we can expect and believe the answer to come from God. And praise the Lord, and the Lord will answer that prayer without a shadow of a doubt. He said in one place, if you will ask and believe whatever you ask in your heart, believe what you've asked and you're going to receive it. What did Jesus say? He said, ye shall have it. Hallelujah. Now that's a promise from the Lord. 
As long as we don't ask amiss and get out in the flesh trying to do them things. When we pray sincerely and walking in His Word, totally sold out to Him, it's when those things begin to develop. When we walk in His commandments, then we have confidence that what we ask, we are going to receive it. Praise the Lord God of Israel. I appreciate Him. He's real. Hallelujah. He is real. Praise the Lord. Let's stand on our feet tonight. If you want to kneel, you kneel. If you want to stand, you stand. Praise God. But let's talk to Him right now. <clears throat> Praise God. Let's talk to the Lord right now in prayer. Hallelujah to God. <clears throat> talk to Him in prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Talk to Him right now. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. And this, amen. Amen. Learn to pray. Je Jesus is wanting us to really learn to pray. Just having the Holy Ghost, I see it ain't good. A one time praying through the spirits of the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it ain't enough. Hallelujah. <clears throat> If I could find a thought that would reach up on high, if I could find a word to say to you, Lord, if I could reach up and touch your nail-scarred hand, then strength would be in my poor soul. But there are trials and woes I go through every day. There are burdens I carry here below. But Lord, what gives me strength to go on through the storm are the thoughts of that victory someday. Lord, I know that this world has its end coming soon and that time will cease for this life and that worldly pleasures are are all just temporal but through you Lord I have eternal life so, Lord, let me walk with you all the way. Oh, let me eat of the tree of life. For you are my star forever and ever. For you are strength and food for my soul. As to Him I cry, He understands my every sigh. When I talk, talk to Him in prayer. Comfort and assurance I find alone with Him. Hope for the pathway when it grows so deep. 